share ko sa inyo yung mga tips ko when it comes to taking care of the skin and coat of our dogs. And bakit ba ito important? So there, um, if you want to know more, please keep on watching. Mom! Hi guys! Welcome again to another vlog. It's me, Mommy Nay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Uh, welcome back po sa aking channel. So today, pag-uusapan naman natin taking care of the skin, coat, and hair of chow chows or of our dogs in general. I would like to share the importance of why should we take care of our dog's skin and coat. Isipin mo naman, di ba? O sige, edi supplyin ko, okay na yan. Pero you, there's more to that pala. So I'll be sharing with you guys. So, number one, their skin and coat is for protection. Yung skin and coat nila helps them really detect heat, pain, temperature, pressure. So, it's really a protection for their bodies. One is, it acts as an immunity for their bodies. So, if the skin of your dog is compromised, they would basically have the tendency to have or catch common diseases and other infections. And last but not the least, the third one is ang skin and coat ng ating mga dog. Ang purpose niyan is for thermoregulation. It is an insulating fur wherein it regulates the body temperature. Ito yung tumutulong talaga sa kanila para hindi sila ma-heat stroke or at the same time, hindi naman sila sobrang lamigin at magkaroon sila ng other complications in their lungs, in their hearts, so there. Well, aside from the fact na kailangan mo laging palikuan, gamitan ng talagang magagandang quality shampoo ang ating mga dogs, you have to groom them, make sure na walang matting na nangyayari sa ating dogs. Um, there's more to that, no? So, there are supplements to help your dog have a healthier fur and coat. Um, so there, I am here to share with you today also yung number one na ginagamit ko na vitamin or supplement para kay Theo. Napapansin ko guys na marami talaga akong mga fur parents na kilala na ito din talaga yung sinasuggest ng kanilang mga vet. So I am here today to share with you and review this supplement na share ko na to sa aking essentials. Pero right now, magda-dive in tayo deeper dun sa mga ginagamit ko sa dog ko. So, this is what you call in-diet supplement. So, they say here that in-diet is a daily nutritional supplement for your dog. And it provides your dog the following. You have live enzymes, essential fatty acids, antioxidants, and minerals. Okay, so basically, it is in a form of a nugget. So, ito siya. I'll show you guys. Ito siya. Okay, ang texture niya is a bit soft. Hindi siya matigas like, uh, like other treats. So, madali mo siyang i-crush or madali talaga siyang manguya na inyong dog. Highly digestible. In fairness naman, uh, na-share ko na to sa mga previous vlogs ko na, na every time pinatry ko ang isang supplement or any vitamin to ni Theo, the only way for me to assess if it's good for him is number one talaga if digestible siya or hindi nagre-react yung tummy niya kung nagkakadiarrhea ba siya or nakoconstipate siya. So, malaking bagay po yun. So, you really have to check on that. Um, if okay naman, all is well, then I will observe Theo um, and then, yun, i-assess ko if yun, sustain namin yung supplement na yun or not. By the way, I've been using this one for almost, what, I think six months already kasi talagang uh, maganda talaga siya for me. Okay, ang next question naman is how much po ito? So, basically, uh, may tatlong sizes yan ito. Merong 1.5 pounds, merong 3.5 and 6.75 pounds. Ang binibili ko lagi is yung nasa gitna ito. Ito ay 3.5 Pounds. So, ito na yung prices niya, guys, para alam nyo. Pero, the reason why I opt to get yung nasa gitna, hindi mo masyadong maliit, pero hindi rin sobrang laki. Kasi, guys, napapansin ko, pag bukas ka ng bukas, tas malaki yung kinuha mo agad. Yung mga natitira sa dulo, nag-iiba yung color niya. 
pag tumagal. Ako lang ba yun? Or, I don't know kung saan ko siya sinestore. Kasi sabi naman, huwag daw ilagay. Hindi naman sinasabi na ilagay sa ref. It says here, keep in a cool, dry place. So, hindi naman sinabi ilagay sa ref. Pag open and close mo doon sa ano mismo, doon sa lalagyan niya, maybe causes it to have discoloration in Ayun eh, at some point, pag malaki yung binili mo sa dulo, parang hindi na niya kinakain. Ewan ko nasisira ba siya or anything. I don't know ha. Ako lang naman yun. So, I just try my best to get na lang yung this one. Kasi madali naman din talagang maubos to depending on the weight of your dog. Next question is, kung nugget form siya, ilan ang ipapatake mo sa iyong dog? Okay, so, eto na. Magmamat na naman tayo guys. Pero kasi ilalagay ko dito. Okay. So, one nugget daw for every five. Pounds. So, what you do, usually kasi yung binibigay ng mga doctors natin is kilos. So, i-convert mo si kilos to pounds, tapos i-divide mo siya sa 5. So, right now, si Theo, kung ito yung computation, kung si Theo is 20 kilograms, in pounds, that's 44. So, divided by 5, he's supposed to get at least 8 to 9 nuggets every day. So guys, I'll teach you also a way on how you can give this supplement to your dog. So, okay, so there are three ways. Number one is directly bibigay mo lang talaga sa kanya after meals. Second is you can put it as a topper talaga. So usually, nalalagyan ng mas lasa yung kanyang food. So I'll share here kung how I do it. Ganyan lang, iga ganun mo lang yan sa kanyang meal. Or... Uh, third is, you use it during training uh, as a treat or, alam mo yun, para mas ma-motivate siyang um, sumunod sa iyo. So, yun, those are the three ways on how you can let them eat the supplement or take the supplement. By the way, for parents, uh, just to add value to the supplement, sabihin ko na rin sa inyo yung kung ano yung mga ma-prevent uh, when you let them take the supplement. So, number one is eczema and dermatitis, hair loss and sores, excess shedding, energy and stamina, allergy relief, and bone strengthening. If you look at those factors, sobrang swak na swak po dyan, ang um, characteristics ng isang chow chow is ng isang chow chow. Especially when it comes Two, ayun nga yung overshedding. Dilemma talaga of all chow chow owners. Mahirap i-sustainin at the same time. Like any owner of a double coated dog. Gusto mo laging smooth yung shedding season niya. So I think talaga never ako nagkaroon ng experience na nag-overshed si Theo. And when I say overshedding, literally may mga lumilipad sa floor. Ko malaking ano talaga, malaking tulong talaga itong in diet. So there you have it guys. Um hopefully natulungan ko na naman kayo. Kung meron pa kayong mga tips or supplements na binibigay sa inyong dog when it comes to the skin and coat, please do share it with me. Comment below. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye.